All right, how's everybody doing? Mr. Muscarell and Pythagoras hanging out here to bring you example one for section 7.3, similar right triangles. That's right. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of our theorems here, which is really going to help us understand a little bit here. Theorem 7.5. In our textbook at 7.5, yours might be a little bit different. It says, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other. What? does that mean? All right, here you go in a nutshell. Got a right triangle. There it is. We'll put a little right angle. So we know it's a right triangle. The altitudes drop down, which means it's perpendicular. Now this triangle here, triangle number one, is going to be similar to triangle number two, which is going to be similar to the whole original triangle. That's all that means in a nutshell. Now what I want you to do is get out your highlighters because we're going to need those here for this piece to kind of help put some things together. Now, when we break that up into those three triangles, a small one, medium, and large one, there's going to be a couple things I want you to do first to figure out what goes where. First thing, identify where the right angles are. So in this case, we've got some letters, so we're going to go ahead and put the letters of each one of our right angles in. Angle D, and then for the medium triangle, it's going to be the same one, angle D. And then for the largest triangle, that's going to be angle C. Now, coming up with the other parts can be a little bit of a challenge for people. And so one of the things I want you to kind of pay attention to in the blue triangle is side DB. Side DB is the shorter leg, so B is, I'm going to put right here, and then that means C is going to go up at the top. So the shorter leg I'm going to put along the bottom side. Now when I go to the medium triangle, the shorter leg of the two remaining sides between AD and DC is definitely going to be D. C, which means A then is going to go at the top. And then when I look at my large triangle, CB is going to be my short leg, so B will go there, and then the longer leg is going to be side AC. So that's one of the challenges for a lot of people is getting that set up. Once you've got that set up correctly, doing the similarity statements a piece of cake. So again, let's just review that real quickly. First thing you're going to do, identify the right angle. Second thing you're going to do is go ahead and identify the short leg. And then the last thing you'll do is just fill in the remaining letter to complete the triangles. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, writing the similarity statement is a piece of cake. I like to go in this order. I like to go from down first and then to the right second. So the first triangle is going to be triangle C, D, because that's in the down and right order, similar to triangle A, D, C, which is going to be similar to triangle A, C, B. And that's all there is to it. There's your similarity statement for that original problem. Not too bad, but the challenging thing is getting the triangles oriented the co correct way. Now let's go ahead and take a look at example number one. So here we go again with example number one. What I want you to do first is go ahead and draw those three triangles, color code them if you need to, whatever you need to do, and I want you to identify each one of the sides going around the whole thing. So before you write your similarity statement, go ahead and make sure that you first have the triangles oriented and labeled correctly. So go ahead and hit pause, do that, and then come on back. So how did you do with that? Did you get them oriented the right way and all the letters in the right spots? If you did, good, great. So proud of you, good for you guys. Now after that, go ahead and write the similarity statement based on those three triangles. If you didn't get that right, that's all right, no worries, just fix it and then write the similarity statement. Come on back in a moment and see how you did. All right, so how'd you do with that similarity statement? Did you get it? Good for you, piece of cake. And again, that's using the technique to go down first and to the right second, going from the long leg to the short leg of a right triangle. And that's it for this example one. Not too bad, pretty easy, straightforward stuff. So make sure you come back and watch examples two, three, and four because they're in the next video. And example five will be in our last one for this series. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch up with you soon. Peace.